We're going to be learning about multiplying across and down. This is lesson 12.4. We can multiply numbers written in a number sentence going across. We can also multiply numbers that are stacked vertically going down. And take a look at this. We can see here that we have two groups of three gems. In a number sentence, we have two groups times three in each group, we have six in all. We can write it like this, stacked vertically. This is the number in each group, and now this is the groups, and we have six in all. And notice when we stack the numbers, the bottom number represents the number of groups, and the top number represents how many are in each group. See how that switched around? First we had this as the groups, now it becomes the bottom number. See that? And remember what we talked about before. The commutative property of multiplication says the answer will be the same when we switch the order of the numbers. Okay? So even if we switched this order to 3 times 2, it's still going to equal 6, isn't it? Okay? So we can multiply across or down to find each product. Here we have two groups of four. We have one group, two group, and they each have four in it. Two times four equals eight. Two groups times four in each group equals eight. Four times two equals eight. It's the same thing. We have three groups of five. One group, two groups, three groups. There's five in each group. Three groups times five in each group, three times five equals 15. And we can write it this way, five times three equals 15. It still equals 15, okay? So we can multiply across and down and write the numbers. So if we did a number sentence, how many groups do we see? That would be the first number, right? We see one, two, three, four groups. And how many are in each group? One, two, three. And they are equal groups, aren't they? So how many are there in all? We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can also write this vertically. We can write three times four equals twelve. See? Let's try another one. Let's write our number sentence first. How many groups do we see? How many rows? One, two, three, four, five. And how many are in each group? Two. Five times two is, we can skip count by two, can't we? Two, four, six, eight, ten. We can also write this as two times five is equal to 10. See? All right, so let's try some problem solving. It says, write the number sentence to solve. There are four boxes of cupcakes. And there's three cupcakes in each box. How many cupcakes are there in all? So I drew squares for the four boxes, and I put little dots in there to represent the cupcakes, because sometimes drawing a picture can help you solve a word problem. So we need to think, each box is a group. That means there are four groups of three. See? Would we add or subtract or multiply for this one? Well, it's saying in all. So that means we're counting how many, right? So it's not going to be subtraction. So would we use addition or multiplication? Well. We figured out that we have four groups of three, so this would be multiplication. We could use addition and do three plus three plus three plus three. We could do that, right? But we've only got two lines here, so it's going to be multiplication. How many groups do we have? One, two, three, four. How many are in each group? Three. How many cupcakes are there? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we need to label this, don't we? 12 cupcakes. 
so we know what we're talking about. All right, let's try this one. There are four cupcakes in one group and three cupcakes in another group. How many cupcakes are there in all? Now it's saying there's four cupcakes in one group and three cupcakes in another group. Now think, these are not equal groups, are they? We have two groups, but they're not equal groups. There's four in this one and three in this one, and it's asking how many are in all. So we see the clue words in all, so we know we need to count how many. We have two lines here. Would we do multiplication? Well, they're not equal groups, so we can't do multiplication. So because it says in all, we can add. And what are we adding? We're going to add 4 plus 3. What is 4 plus 3? 4, 5, 6, 7. And we label it cupcakes. So we can tell in a word problem if we have to multiply or if we have to add because we can see if the groups are equal or not. If we have equal groups, we're going to do multiplication. If we don't have equal groups, well, then it's a clue that we need to add, okay? All right, so remember, you can multiply across in a number sentence or vertically up and down, all right? So we're going to talk about how we can multiply in any order in the next video. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having fun playing with these different counters and multiplication, and I'll see you next video. Don't forget to hit the like button if it helped. Bye.